So someone recently asked me about keyword strategies and how you can find the best keywords. So in this video, I'm going to talk about keywords. I'm going to show you how to use keywords for your ad calls to rank them on search engines. Now, what are keywords? These are search phrases that people search on Google and Bing and other search engines. And they're very, very important, especially when it comes to SEO and ranking your ad calls. So in this video, I'm going to be covering the importance of keywords, types of keywords, and different tools that you can use to find keywords. Now, there are different types of keywords, okay? There are actually two main keywords. So there's short form or short tail keywords, and there's long form or long tail keywords. So short form keywords or short tail keywords are very simple short keywords, like maybe something like, what is a cat? That is an example of a short tail or a short form keywords. And a long form keyword is something like, what are different types of cats? Okay, or what are different types of breeds of cats? Now you can use these keywords to write articles because this is what Google wants and what people are also searching for. Okay, Google wants to make it easier for people to find articles. So if you write an article based on a keyword, it's going to easily rank. Now, where can you find keywords? So long form or short form keywords. Now, one of the best places that I find my keywords is just in Google itself. So using the same example, like uh, what are the different types of cat breeds? Now on that page, you will see this section that says people also ask. So this is a section that speaks for itself. It basically just shows you what people are asking for. So these are keywords, okay? These are long tail keywords. As you can see, what are the top three most popular cat breeds? What are the most common cat breeds? How many types of cats do we have? And what is the most expensive cat? Okay, and if you click on this drop down, okay, if you just click on it and then close it, it keeps extending the keywords, okay? So if you just keep doing this, the keywords are uh, increased. Uh, as you can see now, we have more keywords. So these are the types of questions that you want to write an article, okay? Because these are the questions that people are looking for. And this is what also Google wants you to write an article on, okay? Another way that you can find more keywords are just down over here. We have more keywords. So what are the different types of cat breeds with pictures? What are the different types of cat breeds under there? Okay, so this is not complete. And then we have cat breeds with photos. What breed is my cat? So the ones that you would like to write an article on are, are something like this one here. What are the different types of cat breeds with pictures? So this one you have to include pictures. And then we have this one here. What are different types of cat breeds? These are just basically what people are searching here on Google. So your best keyword tool that you'll ever use is Google itself, okay? Now, Google also have another uh, search tool, okay? It's called Keyword Planner. You can just search for it here, Keyword Planner. All right. So you're going to click on this one here that says find a campaign keywords with Keyword Planner, which will take you to this page. You're going to click on go to Keyword Planner, which will then take you to this page. So you're going to click on discover new keywords. All right. From here, it now depends on your location. Okay. Uh, which countries do you want to target? And here you will have your default country. So mine is currently Kenya. If I want to change, I can just click on this. Or if I just want to remove it altogether, I can remove it. All right. And this is the advantage of this keyword. So you can target any country. So for example, maybe United States. I can just type that and click on target. If you want to target another country, you can go ahead and target that. Maybe Canada. You can add Canada there. Once you're done with selecting your locations, you can click on save. So here is where you're going to be able to search for the different keywords. So depending on what uh, on your niche or your category or whatever it is that you want to write about, you can type it here. So you can enter a short tail keyword or you can enter a long tail keyword. So using our cat example, you can just come back over to Google uh, and we use these same questions that people have asked. So what are the three most popular cat breeds? You can just copy this. All right, and then come back over here and then just paste it here. So what we really want to look for here are the stats for these questions, okay? The statistics, the analytics of this question. So once you're done, just click on get results. All right, so this is basically the stats for this keyword here. You have the keyword, which is this one here. Uh, what are the three most popular cut breeds? And then you have the average monthly searches. So this one doesn't really get a lot of searches. It just gets an average of uh, zero to 10 searches a month okay now the reason being is probably because this is very specific it's asking for three okay three so maybe if you exclude this three you'll get uh, more information on this keyword okay so here you have a three month change here you have your 
year on year change also known as YOY and then you'll see the competition so as you can see there's not really much information because it's not really a popular question so what you can do we can just type uh, first we'll need to remove this okay let's paste the same question and then we can say maybe what are the top most popular cut breeds so pretty much just removing the three now let's click on get results okay so now as you can see we're getting more information we have the keywords here here we have the average monthly searches so this one gets about 10 to 100 average monthly searches you can see the uh, three month change you can see the yoy you can also see the competition so this one's competition is very low so these are the things that you want to look for you want to look for something that's low in competition which is going to be easy to rank for okay now let's look for another keywords let's go back here okay let's close this uh, let's come back over here and search for this one here so what are the different types of cut breeds let's come back here paste it there click on get results all right so now as you can see we have much much more information so we have more keywords that we can use and we have more stats for each keyword so the main keyword was this one here what are the different types of cut breeds and average monthly searches is 10 to 100 and if you look at the competition is quite low all right so you can easily write an article based on what are the different types of cut breeds and now another keyword is this one here what type of cuts are there you can see average monthly searches is now higher this one is 100 to 1k and as you can see this is good news because the competition is quite low so this is something that you can write an article of if you're thinking of writing an uh, or creating a blog for animals or specifically cats you can easily use these keywords because as you can see the competition all of them is quite low so no competition no one is really writing about these articles but as you can see the uh, the searches are quite high 100 to 1k a month 100 to 1k a month so i would write an article on uh, let me just expand this okay i would write an article on what types of cuts are there what are the different types of cuts and what are the different breeds of cuts so this is one amazing tool uh, keywords planner by google is one of the best tools out there because this is a tool that you're getting it direct from the source itself this is the best because google is going to get information based on what people are searching okay now another tool that you can use is on chat gpt okay you can also use chat gpt there's an extension known as aiprm okay now most of my subscribers know about aiprm but if you're new this is an extension that you can use to find different prompts okay different chat gpt prompts and one of them is a keyword generator okay or a keyword strategy which is this one right here all right so just before we get into this the way you can easily install a aiprm you can go over to google chrome store and download it from there or you can just head over to my website which is robertokello.com you go over to ai tools go to extensions and click on chat gpt chrome extensions which will take you to this page you are going to find aiprm here it's the first one and you're going to click on download aiprm extension once you have that downloaded you can refresh chat gpt and it's going to look like this so you're going to scroll down here and you're going to look for keyword strategy okay this is a tool that has over 1.2 million users it's very very popular so basically what it does it creates a keyword strategy and seo content plan okay for just one keyword so in order to use it just click on it you'll know that it's selected by seeing here keyword strategy and then as you can see here you can select different types of outputs okay it has different languages this is another advantage of this you can select any type of language that you want here and then down here you have your categories so you can select different categories different number of categories that is you can select 5 10 or 15 i'm going to show you exactly what these categories are and then here you also have sub categories which you can select these pre-selected numbers here all right so here's where you enter your keyword where it says enter your keyword here so i can use the same uh, keyword on cuts so maybe types of cuts click on enter all right so what you're seeing here is the keyword table provided by this prompt okay the keyword strategy prompt so what you're seeing here we have the keyword cluster we have key, uh, keywords we have search intent we have title and we have meta description so these are the categories like i told you earlier you can you can include five categories so these are five uh, different categories you can add more categories which will give you more information so 
The best thing about this tool is that it gives you the keyword. It also gives you search intent. So search intent is a type of search that people search for. There are different, there are actually two types. There is informational and transactional. So informational is just the kind of search where people are just looking for information, not really looking to buy for anything. So it's just for uh, informational purposes. And then you have um, transactional. Okay, so transactional is where now people are looking for information where they can easily buy uh, a product okay they're usually ready to buy a product so this is more of transactional based type of search okay and then up over here you can see you have uh, your title so this is the title that you can use for your article as you can see unveiling Siamese cats traits and history here you have marine coon cats size personality and more Persian cats uncovered elegance and care okay so this uh, tool also gives you titles for your articles which is going to make it easier for you to just write an article based on that and then lastly you have meta description so meta description is usually a search snippet that is used on google where people can easily just find information quickly without opening the article okay this is usually picked by google so you can use it as the introduction of your article okay yeah, google will pick normally the first lines as your meta description so i recommend you use this one here your first line for your article it's very very helpful so this is basically how you can easily use keywords and how you can find keywords with this tool and if you scroll down further you can see different types of keywords here so you have siamese cats it's giving you the search intent for siamese cats the title that you can write an article for siamese cats and the meta description down here you have the main coon cats the type of search intent so this will be informational uh, marine coon cats size personality and more so again this is the title and then you have the meta description if you scroll down further you can see now this one has a different type of search intent so cat grooming tips it is transactional you have the title that you can write the article on so expert cat grooming tips for a radiant coat and you have the meta description so it goes on and on and on. You can make it even longer if you want from the prompt at the beginning. Okay. This is going to make it easier for you to structure your keyword strategy, finding the best keywords, finding uh, the type of search intent, uh, giving you different titles that you can write your article on, and also giving you the meta description. Very, very helpful. Okay. So this is what I always use for my articles together with Keyword Planner. All right, guys. Check out this video on how to write articles fast using AI PRM, where I show you how to write articles and easily rank them on Google. That's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.